What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video, we're going to be discussing, uh, out of the shotgun type formation, we're going to be discussing a man beater. Uh, primarily going to be using two men under today, but I'm also going to be using cover two and cover two sync to show you what happens um, when you face a defense that looks like two men under, but may pot potentially be a cover two or cover two sync. All right, guys, so in, in the last two videos, we've talked about the zona seams and the zona post. Uh, the zona post being our base play, the zona seams being our zone beater. And you can check both of those videos out in the annotations above, or you can also check those out in the descriptions. All right, but for today's video, I want to focus sp specifically on the sh uh, play action Oakland cross. Um, this is one of my favorite passing plays to beat man coverage in Madden 25. All right, so we're just going to start off with a basic two man under. And the hot routes that we want to do is we want to take Jordy Nelson. We want to put him on a drag. We want to take Randall Cobb. We want to motion him to the right side of the screen. We then want to take James Jones. We want to put him on a hitch route, and we want to smart route that hitch route. The reason we put him on a hitch route and we don't put him on a curl route is because hitch routes are unbunkable in Madden 25. All right, and then the next adjustment I want to do is I want to take Eddie Lacy here, and I want to put him on a streak. All right. Now the progression is going to go from this. First, we're going to look to Randall Cobb. Second, we're going to look through Jordy Nelson. Third, we're going to look to James Jones. And fourth, we're going to look to Eddie Lacy. And then our last read is uh, Jarrett Boykin on the right side. All right. So first read, as you as you see, is a quick quick pass that does a very good job at, at beating two men under. All right. And so that's kind of the purpose of this play. Like I said, is to beat man coverage uh, consistently and also beat other two deep shells. All right, our second read, as we noted, was Jordy Nelson, and we're going to pass lead him to the left with the bullet pass lead left, and you see he's going to be open uh, to catch the ball and get a nice run after catch there. All right, our next read is um, James Jones, and this hitch route is unbumpable. As soon as he comes back, we want to just throw it with a down pass lead, and I'm telling you guys, it's one of the most effective routes for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, shout out to Ryan Dykes. If you guys don't know who Ryan Dykes is, uh, he's one of the best Madden players in the business right now, and he has a tip about how to throw hitch routes, how to have some better success from hitch routes, and so you can check that out over at his channel. I will leave a link in the description for you. And then as I noted, our fourth read here is going to be Eddie Lacy, and you see we're going to just pass lead that up, and then you want to click onto him and make a catch. Sometimes for the Packers anyway, Eddie Lacy's catch rating is a little low, so sometimes he'll just drop stuff. Uh, that's why I will uh, actually be starting James Starks when we get into the game plays. And then our last read is really a late read, but it's a pass lead to the outside of Jarrett Boykin, and you see how he gets that uh, nice separation. All right, and then now I wanted to quickly show you uh, the same read, and I just want to show you what we'll do if they're in like a cover two uh, with the flat zones, the, the press. So if they're in a cover two, and this is how I like to read the man zone in man 25, I like to look at the middle linebacker, and if the middle linebacker backs up, I immediately will throw that drag route to Jordy Nelson. But if the middle linebacker goes forward, then I will then look to Randall Cobb as my first read. Here the middle linebacker is going to back off, and I'm just going to hit Jordy Nelson for a quick game. Now you can obviously, if you're patient in the pocket, you can find other places to go. There, there's no doubt about that. Uh, as we'll go, we'll cycle through this play for a moment here. Uh, you see Boykin's route will actually destroy the cover two, and it will not only destroy the cover two buck, uh, it will also destroy the cover two sink. Uh, but for quick read purposes... Um, you always want to try to take the safe option, in my opinion. And so for me, against cover two and cover two sink, that's Jordy Nelson on that quick little five-yard drag route. As you can see, we're having a pretty good success with that uh, for a consistent amount of yards. Now, you know, can they make an adjustment on that? Yes, they can. That's why you always want to look to the player before you throw the ball. But if they're not, um, if they're not guarding it, then you can go ahead and throw it. And then lastly, I want to show you against the cover you're seeing here, Jared Boykin is going to get another uh, nice outside pass lead for that deep streak. All right, so that's really what I wanted to discuss today. The, uh, the reads obviously will progress in a cover three the same exact way. You know, if they fool you, you just want to continually cycle through your reads and you want to continually to try to uh, read through your progressions. Once again here, you'll see in the cover three, the running back is now a really good option. And just with all of our other plays, we want to continue to stick with the progression system that I gave you at the beginning of the video. All right. 
so that's the video for today. If you have any questions, problems, or suggestions related to this video, please let me know. I'm trying a new video format out, so if you like it, please leave a like rating. And also, uh, if you have any problems with this video specifically, please let me know because I've been having some problems uh, with my computer and the recording software. So uh, I appreciate your time today. I hope that this video was beneficial. And uh, be sure to come back tomorrow where we break down uh, part four of our six-part offensive guide here. Thanks for your